This is Replicant Fish. Welcome back. Glad you could join me again. Hope you're having a nice day. Links to support the channel are in the description. Now I have something interesting here. It's something many of us can relate to, some of us have experienced, and some may be curious as to find out what it may be like. Now this situation here is a good example because it's being told from the mother's perspective. Except this mother is basically saying and telling about how bad her daughter is for her husband. In fact, she actually likes her son-in-law. Let's begin from loveletters.boston.com. Don't ask me how I came across this article. I'm in the middle of my daughter's marriage. My concern is my daughter. She's married to a smart guy, of course, who has been a great father figure to her two daughters. My daughter is a sweet, caring, empathetic woman with everyone except her husband and her daughters. So this is a man that stepped up. He stepped up to the plate. You know, he, he manned up, if you will. He proved he could handle a strong woman with kids. Yeah. And in doing this, this man is not getting what he hoped to get. No matter how much work he put in. Yeah. She has confided in me that he is emotionless with her. No hugs, kisses or sex. She harbors a lot of anger and takes it out on her husband. They have been married 10 years. He has confided in me that while he acknowledges her pain and disappointment, he can't maintain affectionate feelings for her because of the way she treats him. He's been to a counsellor. She adamantly refuses to go. Now, this part here. He can't maintain affectionate feelings for her because of the way she treats him. See, the point I want to make, which I'm sure many of you understand, is... Being affectionate towards a woman, and in the case of sex, for a man to get to full mast, for one, it's not just physical, it's mental as well. Many of us as men know this. We understand the fact of in the motion, during the process, if you will, while you're in there, if you will, to think about something else to prolong you from, you know, climaxing, basically. We also understand the point of sometimes when men get to a point of it not being able to get to full mast, it's not because of an actual problem, it's a mental thing. Nothing physical. Nothing wrong with him, it's a mental thing why he can't get to full mast or even, or maybe in a sense, last for a very long time. So if she is insulting him, bringing him down, making him feel less of himself, making him feel less confident, just nagging him and basically bringing him down as a man, of course he would find it difficult to then be able to perform for his woman. He wouldn't feel to, he wouldn't want to, he would have no desire to. But I do believe many women don't understand how mental it is for a man. Carrying on. Part of her anger, I feel, is that when she was in college, she became pregnant and her education was put aside while the father of her baby, whom she married first, so this was the first husband, the one that fathered the daughters. He finished his studies, secured a job, then went about his pursuit of happiness. Golf, kayaking, skydiving, archery, martial arts, while she was stuck at home with two children. They divorced. Now, obviously, you can say it seems unfair that this man's enjoying his life so much while she's stuck at home with the kids. But that's how it's seen. Was that really the case? Because her being at home meant she didn't have to do the hard work it took to maintain the home that she's in, secure with the kids. Her not having to work herself. But obviously, she wasn't happy, so they divorced. Okay, okay. Her current husband puts up with her ranting and negligible domestic skills. Yeah. Yeah, it's such a common thing nowadays. It's, it's like, damn. It's just, it's just strange how modern times, how so many women just neglect domestic skills. They even lack, they lack domestic skills. Like cooking and cleaning. And this is my point. As men, every man listening to this, all of these things you should be able to do for yourself. Never in this world should you look for a woman to do any of those things for you. To cook and or clean for you. You should be able to do that yourself. And nowadays, more than likely, you could probably do that much better than she could anyway. For a large amount of women anyway. So let's carry on. He puts up with her ranting and negligible domestic skills, entertains her daughters, maintains the household, and says he's thankful that marrying her gave him the opportunity to be a parent. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. That point. That point right there. How many men feel that way? They may not have had the opportunity to have a family, but then they may meet a woman who they may like. She's a nice woman. They may, well, assume she's a nice woman. And they may, let's say, for lack of a better word, fall in love with her. And even though, and even though clearly 
this man is being treated like crap, he's still so content in the fact he's been given something he didn't have before. And, and yes, of course he's happy, but you can't think that's a healthy situation for anyone to be in. Because the proof is there, he's unable to be affectionate with her. But he says it's because of how she goes on. He's been to counselling, he's trying. He is the one trying. Uh, but yet, still not enough, is it? Still not enough. I listen to both of them, praise him for his devotion, and advise her to go to a counsellor because I don't have the answers. She says she's tried everything to make him understand her feelings. I say, she hasn't tried everything if she hasn't seen a counsellor. He doesn't want a divorce. Now, this guy's too good for his own good. He's too, uh, he's too good for his own good. She tells him to go live with his parents. My god. I'd hate to lose a son-in-law, but I also hate to see him endure this. Damn. I really do keep my nose out of it, except to listen when either one calls me. It's not my problem to solve. He doesn't have a switch to turn on to make him romantic, and she doesn't have one to turn off her feelings of needing affection. I feel for both of them, but I don't think either one will change. No, no, I don't believe either one will change either, and I do believe the best thing for the man to do is leave. A man so devoted, if she decides to leave him, think of how crushed he would be. Even in a situation where it's bad for him, he's so content that he wants to stay to make it work. What happens when she reaches a point where she says F it? How will this man handle it? Can he handle it? Would he be crushed afterwards? Will she take half or most of what he has? And will he willingly give it just to keep her happy? My point is, many times men come along and they meet a woman and they feel it's the best thing to save this woman. To help her, she needs help and she's a lovely woman. But in the end, so many times these men end up with nothing. They take on the burden of a woman with baggage, children. Not in a bad way, I'm just saying it. it is the package deal. Women tell you it's a package deal. It's more than just her and her problems, it's her problems, her and her children. And I will say this, some of you men listening that are so eager to get into a relationship that you would jump for a woman such as this, understand the outcome more than likely will not be good. Not for you anyway, not for you. You will never come first. It will never be about you. Never. It can't be. And if it ever is about you, then that's a neglectful mother to her kids. As I've said before, Single men have options, beyond options. They can become the boyfriend, they can become the husband, they can become the lover, they can become the father, and also the stepfather. Don't let the world fool you to think you have nothing because you don't have a woman. The fact you're free and have something to offer shows you can be either. One of the many things I've just said, you, you could become any of those things. The point is, understand your value enough to never give it to someone who truly does not deserve you. But then again, that's if you understand your value. If you understand what a prize you are. In other words, focus, observe, remember. The world is yours. Have a nice day.